Experiencing erectile difficulties from time to time over one's life isn't uncommon. It's when these experiences start to become consistent and persistent that they start to cause distress in one's life and or in their relationships. There are many different factors that can contribute to erectile difficulties. Things like side effects from medications, sexual pain, hormones, aging, cardiovascular disease, diabetes, stress, relationship dynamics, and performance worry, just to name a few. So in this video, I'm going to share with you a guided masturbation or self-touch technique that will help you stay connected to your pleasure zone and loosen the grip on performance pressure. This will help you increase your sexual satisfaction, your pleasure experience, and your confidence. Mainstream culture overemphasizes penis performance rather than pleasure, which can really take you away from being absorbed fully in your sexual experience and pleasure. In a 2018 study on the practice of mindfulness and situational erectile dysfunction, the men in this study reported, quote, that present moment awareness helped them identify anxiety and more specifically performance anxiety as a key contributing factor to their erectile difficulties. For some men in this study, this was the first time that they saw anxiety as playing a major role in their sexual difficulties. You'll want to explore with this activity in an environment with little distractions for at least 15 minutes. The more distractions you'll have, the less present that you'll be with this activity, and that defeats the purpose. Feel free to try out this activity with clothes on or off, lubricant or not, alone or in the company of others, or maybe you have your own flavor that you want to test out. The best part of all of this is that you get to choose. During this guided masturbation or self-touch exploration, you're going to be using purposeful and intentional touch to your genitals without the pressure to perform and in ways that you're able to be present and stay connected with your body without having any expected results. So leaving those expectations behind. If your penis does get a hard on, that's fine. If it doesn't, that's fine too. Stay curious and open to the sensations that you feel in and around your penis and elsewhere in your body. So here are some guiding reflections to keep in mind while you're sexploring your genitals. Now keep in mind that I am alluding to direct touch of your genitals, but you can apply the same guiding principles to practically anywhere in your body. So let's begin by tuning into your breath sensations, wherever that is comfortable in your body. You don't have to change your breath in any way, just tap into the breath, feel your breath sensations, and stay connected with your breath for several breath cycles. Just think of this part as landing the plane, zoning in to the experience of your body. You don't have to change your breath in any way, just tap into the breath, feel your breath sensations, and stay connected with your breath for several breath cycles. Just think of this part as landing the plane, zoning in to the experience of your body. And when you're ready, you can begin by just looking at your genitals. Keep an open mind, be curious, but just notice. Notice the softness of your penis. And as you're doing this, also from the corner of your mind's eye, notice the 
thoughts that arise as you're noticing your soft penis. And when you're ready, you can move on to the next step, which is starting to touch your penis. As you're touching your penis, take note of what it feels like to touch your soft penis. If you start to notice and feel your penis swell and get engorged with blood, notice this as well. What does it feel like? to have blood start to fill your penis or not. Again, there's no expectation here. You're just being absorbed in the experience of the sensations that you feel in your penis and elsewhere. You may also want to explore touch with different types of pressures or different types of strokes. Again, noticing the difference. And then when it feels right for you, perhaps somewhere in the middle of this activity, to pause again, stop touching, and tune into your breath sensations for several breath cycles. When you feel ready, you can go back to touching your penis. And then also just explore with what it feels like to touch your penis with lubricant or not. What would it feel like to explore touching your penis in different types of positions or postures? Play with also adjusting your speed and pressure and friction of touch. Take notice of what it is that you're noticing while you're exploring this sensory landscape. Now, if your penis does get about 50% or so erect, again, it's okay if it doesn't, but if you find that you've reached that 50% or more mark of having an erection, stop, admire, and appreciate this moment as you're looking down or looking at your penis. And then intentionally and purposefully let your erection go down. That's it you are done for your session. Now, if you didn't experience 50% or more of an erection, it's okay. Remember, the purpose of this activity is not to get a heart on. It's to be absorbed in your sensory experience, to be present with pleasure and not performance. You are more than your penis performance. Thanks so much for watching. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe and hit the like button below. This will help other guys in your situation also find these resources sooner than later. If you're a penis owner who's currently struggling with pelvic pain, you're not alone. Check out the Men's DIY Pelvic Pain Relief Program. The link